Let me finish off now by giving you some tips for helping you to succeed with an auto blog. Now an auto blog is something that can make you a lot of money online. You can create an awful lot of them and through that generate a really nice passive income. So in order to succeed, the first thing is you've got to pick the right keywords. You've got to find keywords that you can rank for relatively easily and get yourself up in the search engines for without too much work. You don't want to create an auto blog based around keywords like weight loss, for example, that are highly competitive. You want really narrow, targeted um, websites so that you can get lots and lots of people through to your site. So that's the aim of the game here with uh, an auto blog is to basically get yourself ranking really, really well. You've got to pick the right keywords. You've got to focus on those keywords throughout your content and through your whole SEO. The, the perfect ones are ones that are uh, low competition but high traffic. So you're going to have to do your keyword research and expect to spend some time on it. Don't expect it to magically sort of happen and you to find keywords that sort of pop up out of thin air. You need to do some work and find those keywords. And doing that research up front will make sure that you earn an awful lot more money from your sites because they're going to rank quicker. But basically, auto blogs are a numbers game. You know, the more sites you have, the more you earn. You know, don't expect an auto blog to make you know, a single auto blog to make you rich. It's highly unlikely. But if you've got a thousand or two thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand of these sites, then they're likely to make you extremely rich. So you do need to think about that. It is a numbers game. Don't create one or two sites, then go oh I'm not making millions of dollars don't expect to yeah you know, a couple of sites you can expect you know five ten dollars a week maybe but yeah I said once you've got a hundred sites up then you can sit there and go hmm I'm earning nicely now so you know the more sites you have the more you're gonna earn but you've got to get the balance between scraped and unique content and you do need to vary this across your sites remember we said earlier on that you want to avoid leaving footprints so yeah you know, if you always have your home page is unique and then this page is that and then that page is the other then that's going to give it away so always uh, balance the scraped and unique content um, so that you have um, a bit of both basically you want some unique and some scraped some PLR that sort of thing but get the balance right but I would recommend that you don't make auto blogs your only online sites. Certainly have them as a stream of income, but just in case something happens to them or Google decides to change its mind about sites, have other streams of income. You do not want to run the risk of having your business wiped out because of uh, one of the whims of Google. So you've got to balance auto blogs with genuine blogs and other information sites um, products for sale shopping carts membership sites etc 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 so you've got to get the balance between them all right and if you can do that then you're going to do very very well auto blogs will provide you with an excellent additional stream of income and balance it with your other internet marketing activities and you can generate a lot of money and do very very well so one thing to always do with your auto blogs is to try and add value. Thinking about adding value will help to make sure that your blogs survive longer. It will help to make sure that they do better and they get more traffic. Created well, you, you know, you can get incoming links from other sites. I've created auto um, auto blogs, and because I've thought about what are people looking for, I'm having incoming links from people all over the place who are referring to the site because it's got valuable information on and could be considered a, an authority site. So always think about that. Focus on the needs of your reader. Think about what is your website visitor looking for when they come to that site. Are they looking to buy? Are they looking for information? And that's going to help you also to determine what sort of adverts you place. You know, are you going to place, you know, I don't know, a Clickbank adverts where they're buying the product? Or are you going to give them uh, information and AdSense adverts so that they can click on the links to get more information? But you want to make each site unique. I know, I know it's tempting to just use one template and fling them out there really, really quickly, but spend some time um, making each site unique. And again, it's going to step you away from possible spam sites and make sure that your auto blogging network lives an awful lot longer. If a site does well, 
then look at manually adding additional content. So if you've got a site and it's doing really well, it's getting a lot of traffic, you might want to add more content, you might want to get some unique content written and added to it, you may want to you know, create additional sites in that niche on based on other keywords. So think about all of that when you're creating your auto blogs. There's you know, a lot of potential there. You may create other sites. You know, I may have my auto blog and then realize, well, actually, I want to create a membership site, a product site. I may want to create a couple more authority sites. I may want to target other keywords and really sort of give it a good boost. But if a site gets blacklisted, which may or may not happen, uh, don't get emotionally entangled in it. Just go, oh, well, and move on. There's pretty much nothing you can do about it. You can try appealing, but you're going to get caught up in the long process. So if it gets blacklisted, don't auto, don't renew your domain name. Um, just move on and get on with other sites. You know, you, that, just consider it a, sort of a casualty of business, if you like. It may well happen. I'm not saying it will, but if it does, then obviously you need to um, just move on and not get tangled up with it. And remember, with all these auto blogs, you're looking at a rapid turnaround. You're looking at creating sites very quickly and getting them out there. You don't want to spend you know, three or four days creating a site. You know, an hour tops. You know, if you're looking at a network of a thousand sites, uh, if you spend an hour per site, that's a thousand hours. So you need to, when you're doing this, always think about automation. How can you do things quicker and better and faster with less work? And the more you can think about that, then obviously the quicker you can create the sites. As I said. If, if it takes you two hours to create a site, it's going to take you a long time to create a thousand sites. If it takes you 15 minutes, it's going to take you an awful lot less time. So you've always got to think about how can you do them faster and better. So when you're working on, on your auto blogs and you see something, you think, well, I could probably do this better. Do it better and see if it speeds things up. So remember, it's all about, it's a numbers game. It's about creating the sites rapidly and getting them up there. But your auto blogs are very, very can be very very valuable to you I'd strongly recommend that you um, use them and that you enjoy them because there's a lot of potential with an auto blog you know you can create many of these sites you can create a great additional stream of income and of course the sites don't need any manual intervention whatsoever which means that you can run them on autopilot and just concentrate on building more sites and generating other parts of your business when you've got 500 a thousand or so of these you could be earning a significant amount of money and it's all on autopilot with no input from yourself so always always sit and think about that when you're creating these these sites are very powerful they run with no manual intervention they auto populate and they generate you an income pretty much on autopilot so now you know everything you need to know about auto blogging it's time for you to start it remember when you're creating these sites look at how you can do it better and if you find a way then do it better by all means please you know there are um, better ways of doing some of this there are faster ways and I'm sure you're gonna find them so now you have the tools it's time for you to go out start creating your auto blogs see how many can you get done in the next week and see how quickly they will rank for you and how quickly they will earn for you.